so I wanted to make a video because a lot of people um, take me as uh, when I say I'm not a Christian or I'm not a religious person they take me as um, unholy or um, just not believe in the word or whatever but I believe everything that's in the Bible and um, what a lot of people fail to realize is that what's being taught to you in the Bible is um, bits and pieces and people don't actually go and read their Bible or get an understanding of their Bible um, the Catholics took over Rome took over Christianity and um, conformed it so we have a conformed piece of the Bible and every religion that comes to existence has to go through the Catholic Church the Catholic Church has made our Jesus white the Catholic Church has whitened out the Bible and made it not important of who these Hebrew Israelites are um, the Jews that are in Israel today are not the Hebrew Israelites. The Jews that are over there today are actually the ones that have funded slavery. They uh, run our media. They run our um, Wall Street. They run everything. Um, music. They run music. They run all of it. Uh, Jewish name is on everything that controls our country. Um, and people just they they don't look at what the prophecy has said they don't look at what revelation says it says that they're the people in israel um will claim that they're israelites and they're not um psalms 83 talks about um the different nations that would cut off israel as a nation and um we all have been brought up um to think that the white race is superior because of that we have been brought up to serve a white God a white Jesus and that's not the way that it is um, when Jerusalem was overtaken by Assyria the tribe of Judah went into hiding into Africa there are, are tribes still in Africa now that believe and go by the Hebrew laws um, and when Africa sold their people that, they, that everyone has come to think that that's the way that it was, that is not what happened. Africa did not sell their people. They sold the people who were different than them. They sold the Hebrew Israelites that were hiding. The people that are here, the black people, the people of color that are here that have been brought here from Africa, their ancestors brought here from Africa, are the Hebrew Israelites. Um, they're even in the uh, African dictionary, African and Negro are two different things, are two different classifications of people. Um, the Africans were the tribe of Ham. Ham was not a Israelite. Um, the people that were brought here was the true Hebrew Israelites. <coughs> and this war, everything that's going on in the Middle East, it is all because they know, countries, other nations know that the people that are there are not the true Israelites. And when all of this comes together, all this war and all this um, thing, things that's going to happen in Revelations, when all that comes together and the Hebrew Israelites return, the true Hebrew Israelites return to Israel, the world will be a better place and if you sit here and you think that it doesn't matter or you think that okay um so what he was black so what you are a part of the problem you are a part of what they have done to these hebrew israelites to god's chosen people you are a part of that they have deceived you and you've let them deceive you you've let them make you feel superior and you're not um know a lot of times 
we want to point fingers and say, well, we've done this, we've done that. They need to come up and they need to uh, live better and do better and it's their problem, this, that, and the other. But what have you done? What have you done to go in there and show these people and tell these people that they are somebody, that they are worth being somebody? All that anybody has ever done is beat these people down. And what have you done? Your, you, your ancestors were able to go get loans for a house, could move and have a home and was given opportunities. So now you are living off of the opportunities that they had. Yeah, we may not all live perfect, uh, rich. We probably all don't live a certain way. But I have a a privilege. I have a privilege because I'm white. I have a privilege to go somewhere and not be looked at as um, a thug or um, looked at like I'm uh, uh, somebody that's going to hurt somebody or when, when the 13th Amendment, when it was signed that it freed slaves, as soon as it was signed it also said in there that um, slave would be abolished except for committing a crime. When slavery was abolished, what did white people do? They criminalized black people. They criminalized people of color. They lied and said that they were raped or they lied and said that somebody stole this or stole that, did this or did that, and they put them in jail. And now they're criminalized. There's more people of color in jail now than they were slaves back in slavery and it's ridiculous what has been done to these people and everyone just wants to say get over it get over it well why are we living a deceitful lie why are we not accepting the truth why are we not accepting that our God created us in his image he created and we came from the man of color we did not come from a white man we came from a man of color our ancestors was of a man of color and something happened that caused us to not have melanin in our skin and that is why God didn't hate Esau because he was white he hated Esau because he knew what Esau would do. He knew what he would take his whiteness and use it for. And it was to be evil and deceitful and to change the way that people perceived the Hebrew Israel Israelites. These Hebrew Israelites are they're God's people. And we just, nobody cares. All this war and stuff that's going on over there, we have what needs to be over there we have the people here in great babylon bible time great babylon and all that our country is doing is hiding it they're feeding them <clears throat> feed them rap talking about killing and drugs and whoring and all this stuff and they're they know they're they're keeping them down and i just want you to wake up People of color need to wake up. You are the chosen people. You are the Hebrew Israelites. And you've got to come up out of Great Babylon. Come up out of her and humble yourself to him, to Yahshua. And become the nation that you are supposed to be. Because I believe it and there's plenty of other people out there that believe it. And are, will do everything that they can do to help make the prophecies come true.